In this video, we will be creating this box outline style animation. And I got inspired by this scene. My name is Emil, without further ado, let's jump into it. This is one of our episodes from the tutorial series for popular YouTube channels like Fox, Johnny Harris, Ali Abdal and others. Please check the download section for project files download. We already have created one version for this video and this is how it looks like. Now we're going to create another version. So firstly, I will create a new composition. I will name it as rocket and my duration will be 11 seconds long. I will press Ctrl Y on my keyboard to create a solid layer. And this is our solid layer. Uh, we'll make it a bit more darker. If you look closely, we have some sort of grid going on here. So we will create a grid layer. So I will press Ctrl Y on my keyboard again to create another solid. I will hit OK. I will name this one as background and this one as grid. So so to generate grid, we need to go to effect. First, let's select the layer, then go to effect, then go to generate. Then we have this grid option. Now go to the options. We will select with slider and we will adjust based on our need. Go for 0 0.5. Okay. Now I'll go to project, then I'll bring our new outline object so this is a rocket but it is in black color so firstly i'll go to effect then i'll go to generate then i'll go to fill then i'll make it white color now i will select this layer then i go to layer option then auto trace so we will keep the default option and i'll hit ok on my keyboard we need to go to the effect then generate then stroke effect. I'll go for all mask option here and then reveal original image. So we have some sort of this look going on here and then we need to animate. So I'll move forward. I will go to 4.4 second 15 frames here. I'll hit a stopwatch. Then I will move back to zero frame. Then I'll make it zero. So if we play, it will look something like this. As you can see, in this composition, we have aeroplane and here we have a rocket. So I'll go to project. I already have downloaded a rocket video footage. So I'll just bring it here. I'll position it. I'll hit P on my keyboard to bring out this position settings here. So I'll move it here. Okay. So if I go to our composition one and look closely how we have designed this part. So when it is one second long, then our airplane comes here. So we will do the same settings here. So I'll go to one second or maybe some here. Then I will move our rocket footage here. So you need to adjust based on your footage and your outlines. And if you look closely, we have some flickering of animation here. So you can easily do it by animating the opacity here. So I'll basically just copy and paste it. So select the effect control c and then i'll paste it here so i'll move here and i'll press ctrl v and if i press t on my keyboard it will bring our animation so it is for example zero opacity then one frame gap then we have 100 percent then again it is zero again 100%. If you select all the keyframes and press Alt on your keyboard, then you can also move it like this. So it is up to you how you want it. Now we need a camera. 
if we look at our composition one, it starts with this zero, then it moved back, then we have this aeroplane, then it uh, the camera moves right side. So if we select the camera layer, then we press U, it will reveal our animation pattern. So for example, all the main animation, the zoom out and the positioning, everything happened within one second okay so firstly i'll go to layer then i'll go to new then i'll select camera i'll hit okay now we need to select all the layers to background layers then we have this 3d option so we need to make sure that we have a 3d option here then i'll select camera I'll go to transform. I will hit point of interest, stopwatch, then position, then Z rotation. If we move back here, then animate it. For example, uh, 180 degree probably. Yeah, 180. And then we need to press C in our keyboard then it will give us this option so i'll zoom in and when you move this one it will automatically change all the values here now i'll select all these keyframes i'll put it here now it will look something like this so i'll select all the keyframes then I'll press F9. Now we need to go to the composition number one again and see when our airplane comes in. So in this case, when our rocket will come, so it is three seconds. So I'll now again, I will press C on my keyboard and when I will have this four arrow option, I'll move it like this. If I go back and play this animation again and see our final result. Thank you for watching. You can also create your own animation in your own style.